Hello there everyone, The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 11 of our Enigmatica 6 Expert Let's Play series, where today we are setting up Infinite Power by Burning Charcoal. Let's get started. All right, friends, welcome back to our lovely world here in Enigmatica 6 Expert. Our uh, farms over here have been doing absolutely fantastically. This tree farm is pretty insane we've already maxed out this drawer 2048 in there uh, and i had to go ahead and make this a gold chest just because we're getting so much i don't want it to end up back stuffing and then dumping items into the world uh because that causes lag over here i've gotten our farm set up and i literally just did this so there's nothing super special in here but we have potatoes we have demons dream seeds we have wheat and we have source berries from Ars Nouveau. These two will probably get swapped out at some point, but I know we're going to need them uh, as we get into the mods, especially the Demon's Dream fruit uh, as we go forward. So, yeah, anyway, those are there. In between episodes, I went ahead and dug us out a basement. Yes, and I did this by hand. It was uh, entertaining, to say the least. If we go back up home, let's see what our resources ended up being. Uh... So we have a thousand dirt, 813 cobbled deep slate, pretty much. That's where we ended up with. And we ended up getting a little bit of like uh, iron and stuff that I've, I found while we were down there and everything. But yeah, that's where we're at. We are slowly running out of coal because I've had to keep that thing powered. Uh, I did. There was some coal down there. Oh, hey, apparently I changed my DPI. OK, nice. I need to stop that button. Um, Anyway, uh, if we pop down here, so we have our basement, it is 17 by 17, so 17 square. And if we go into the walls here, I also dug out a three by three pathway behind. So that way we can run any cabling. Uh, if we need to tuck a machine or a process behind the walls or something, whatever, uh, we can. Now, I do eventually want to get this, you know, looking nice. It's pretty it's pretty terrible right now. If we look for an exchanging gadget from uh, Direwolf's building gadgets, it's going to be our best friend when it comes to this. And it is doable now. I do have the ender pearls. I probably could make this happen now. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is get an elevator going before I use any ender pearls for anything else, because, well, uh, I need to be able to get back up here right now. What I'm doing is slash home to get back up top, which works. And it actually gets me where I need to be, to be honest with you. But uh, it's not ideal. So what I'm waiting for, I need a total of 16 wool. I had my shears. I must have put them away. No, where's my shears? Oh, there they are. But anyway, yeah, I need 16 total wool so I can make two elevators so I can throw one in the corner there and I can get up and down as uh, needed. So we're getting there. We're getting close. That may have gotten us. Nope, we're at 14. I probably should breed them, but I didn't get, uh, you know, my wheat planted until just now. So if I bone meal, I bone meal, it, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some stuff away. I don't need... Oh, I'll keep my bow on me, actually. Uh, so, that, so let me uh, point out this iron adds, right? The iron adds on the back of it has an iron hoe, correct? And it does work to do what it's supposed to do. If I want to, you know, till this land, it tills it up, right? Uh, let's go ahead and until it. Now, however, if I want to till this dirt, watch what happens. Grass path. It acts as if it's an axe because it does have an axe on it. Uh, so you cannot till dirt. It has to be grass in order for you to till it, which has uh, been a little bit of a challenge while I was farming that stuff because I kept uh, tilling the dirt and not doing it right and everything. But uh, we got it going now. And I hope I, I hope that this all stays and that the podzole doesn't replace any of that. I don't know if it if it does do that. We'll, we'll find out. Have you guys uh, one of you has? One of you has eaten, and that's my 16. Good, let's go home. So we need two elevators. Request, probably need to put that in there. Request and request. And that'll get me two elevators. And if you've never used these elevators, they are absolutely one of the best mods available in modded Minecraft. Uh, so what we can do is, yeah, we'll put it here. So we're gonna go ahead and place this down one block here. And there's our first elevator. And if we go back up top, we can go ahead and put this here. Bam. And now what that does is it just acts as a simple teleportation platform between those two blocks. So I just hit shift and I go down. I hit space. I go up. 
Easy as that. Uh, now these can be camouflaged. So you can, uh, like if I wanted it to look like this cobblestone, I can make it look like cobblestone if I wanted to. I can remove the camouflage if I uh, shift click with my empty hand. You right click on it, you can set it to be directional so that you always face this direction when you come down. Even if, if I'm facing, you know, I'm facing south right now. If I go down, it turns me to the north. I like that. We're going to go ahead and hide the arrow though so that we don't have to worry about it. You're also going to be directional to the north and hide the arrow. So yeah, now I'll always come down and be facing the proper direction and I can go easy peasy. So even if I'm here, I just continue running and I'm here. So this is our basement. Uh, so what I want to do now is we need to run pipes. Um, I need to get pipes run from this drawer all the way down into our basement. Uh, and it's not going to be pretty to do so. It's going to require me to be going and just dig underground a little bit until we can get to where we need to be. Um, and it ultimately, <laughs> it's got a long way to go. Let me tell you now. And let me see real quick. Ender chests. Are you? No, yeah, you're you're complicated. You're not easy to make. I was wondering. I figured it wouldn't be. But yeah, you're not an easy thing to make. So I don't I don't think we have any easy uh, wireless transfer of items. But ultimately, I need that to come downstairs into this corner of our basement um, all the way over to here, because this is uh, where I'm going to have my power start. So we'll have this come down here and it's going to feed into probably another drawer here, to be honest. And then that will feed into a redstone furnace, which will then push into a sterling dynamo and then run the power back up to our battery. Makes sense. Uh, now, before I get all of this done, let's go ahead and see. By the way, I, I did remove the uh, just enough calculations mod uh, update so I can type again. It, it seems to be that that was the cause. So uh, what I'm looking for is universal pipe because I need some sort of power transfer. And you are you're gated by steel. Steel, steel, steel is going to be our issue, uh, I see. Trying to think, is there any, there's no real easy way to get this steel dust, right? It's only when we get into immersive with the coke bricks and we can start doing that, uh, which means that, well, that's where we're going to end up having to go very soon. So I'm going to go ahead. I did make extra pipes. So we have a bunch of them. Remember, the recipe is easy. It's just tin and then some shafts, which is some andesite. Uh, I've done a little bit of mining for andesite in between episodes and just basically just dun -dun 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 -dun, just straight ahead. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and dig this down to where it needs to be. So I'm probably just going to dig straight down all the way over to here and then down until we get there. So. I'll be back. OK, so uh, cable has been run all the way from all the way out to that thing of spruce that we have out there all the way down out into our tunnel run basement down here, down this way and into this drawer. OK, so my idea is we're going to have it go into this drawer. I'm probably going to get a shoot from create. I think that'll look nice because we'll be able to see it coming down. Um, so set a shoot from create and then have that go into a redstone furnace here. And then that redstone furnace will push the coal or the charcoal that it creates out into this drawer, which will then go into a sterling dynamo. And then I'll have to hook a pipe up from the two to be able to transfer, transfer those. But what we need to do in order to get this done is first off, we need to go uh, up home real quick and we need to get a spruce log just so that we have one for filtering purposes. Because as you can see, I have a retrieval module and a high speed increase module. And I'm, I'm going to see how well this is going to work. And yeah, basically that's where we're at. Because what we're going to ultimately end up happening is we're going to have this drawer full of uh, logs. And then we'll also have the other drawer stay full of logs. And yeah, basically that's that's. That's where we're at. So let's go ahead and open up this pipes inventory. We're going to put the retrieval module and the speed. And I did go with high speed and high retrieval for both just because, well, why not? And so it should start pulling logs down here. Now, remember, it has a long way to go. Um, and we're talking a long way, like very long way to go. So we'll see what happens. Um, and I may even need to... 
actually put the log in there before it'll even start sending, but we should start seeing items flow. Hopefully, as long as I connected everything up correctly, we can uh, we can find out by going down here and taking a look at our drawer. And if our drawer has, yes, look, there is less in our drawer. There's 835. So it is definitely pulling. It's just, it's taken a while to get it all over there, um, which is fine. It's a long run, but it, once this is full, I mean, our, our furnace isn't going to be able to keep up ultimately with the production of it and everything. So yeah, I just, there it is. And that's with a high speed too. And that's sending a stack at a time. But it's going. Yeah, that's high speed. Okay. Well. Uh, oh, increases speed of items exiting adjacent inventories. I see. So it's not high speed. This actually needs to go into this pipe. Okay. Okay. So this is why we look. This is why we check things out. So this actually needs to go here. So if I do that, oh yeah, look at that now. Pew, pew. Okay, cool. Now, now we are cooking with gas. Okay, so that's gonna get that going in there. Um, and it says higher tiers prevent oversending. I don't know how that's necessarily gonna work if it's gonna read the inventory. Um, but what we need to do is get ourselves another redstone furnace made up, which we can do because we have, um, you know, we have access to Invar now easily, so we can grab our redstone furnace. Uh, and we probably have some of this stuff. What are we missing? Redstone flux coil. Okay, so we have none of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and craft all this stuff up, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we have an extra redstone furnace crafted up, ready to go. So um, I did forget to grab the uh, shoot, though, from Create. I believe we should be able to use this, right? It doesn't. It's it's It acts like a hopper. So if I were to take this and I were to place it here, is that going to, yeah, item has moved downward. It contains spruce log 16. Perfect. Okay. So what I want to do is set this redstone furnace and it's going to input from the top and it's going to output for the right. Now the redstone furnace is going to require power to get this started. So we're going to kind of have to get a little, a little power loop going between these guys, but we'll figure that out in a moment. Um, I do want to go ahead and get the morphing tool so we can see, you know, what's going on here. So this is going to have its logs and it's going to output charcoal to here. And then we're going to go ahead and get a sterling dynamo set up here. Uh, and we, I want to rotate that guy so that it faces upwards. And then we're just going to get some pipes. Um, I am going to have to get another retrieval module to be able to pipe from here to here. I, I probably have one in the system, actually. Okay, so that's going to do that. Um, and we have some cobblestone. We can fill the hole. So that's going to do that. Going to put the, that into there. And then we just need to get... Uh, well, first, we need to route power over to here. Just trying to think of what is going to be the best way to do this. Because uh, this is... I mean, it's a fairly compact setup here. I mean, it could be even more compact if I didn't use this chute, but that's okay. Um, but I need to get power over to here, but power comes out of here. And then it's going to, you know, ultimately the power is going to come out of here and it's going to feed up into this pipe here, which goes into our battery. That's going to get removed. But I don't have enough basic universal cables to be able to do this. So what options do we have? Let's go take a look at our quests, right? Uh, because I know in here there is the Xnet gate. Now, Xnet, if we look at our recipe for Xnet, what do you require for connectors? So if I were to use blue connectors, you are rock wool, uranium, two hoppers. OK, so if we wanted connectors, that's what we would need. And then network cable is going to be signalum and rock wool. And that's going to get network cable. And then rock wool is made with. Well, you're specifically blue rock wool, which is fine. Rich slag or slag smelted, which we do have slag going uh, or well, we have slag made. And then I would need a controller, which is going to require some iron, a servo and a redstone flux cell frame. That's doable. 
and that would allow me to route power from here and to here. It will also, I also wouldn't need to have this. I could have XNet control this too. And honestly, this. <clears throat> you know, we could stack these however we wanted to. I could have it all stacked up in a row here. Bum, bum, bum. How do I want to do it? Let's do XNet. All right, let's go. It's going to be, it looks like it's our next level of pipes that we're going to go ahead and need. So I did this. Um, I made the elevator and we're kind of waiting on the rest of this. Okay. So we need blue connectors and we're going to need a controller. Um, but XNet's going to require power. I might be able to get, we might be able to, huh? I might have to put the controller up here, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Um, and then we could I'm just trying to think how, how, what's our best way to do this? Xnet's going to require us to have power. And the, and the problem is, is that dy the dynamo can only output power from its front. Uh, I don't have the module there is from thermal. There is an augment that allows the dynamo to output power from any side. If I remember correctly, or at least there used to be, um, let's do augment dynamo. No, uh, maybe there's not anymore. I know there used to be one that allowed it to output power from any side, but I, maybe it's not a thing anymore. Or maybe it just can output to any side no matter what. That's a good good thought. I'm, I, I don't know. Maybe I can just pull out from the side. Yeah, we'll have to find out, really. Um, if that's the case, then we could have it pump into the controller... Or we could just move our battery downstairs. That's probably going to be the easiest way to do this. I generally like to have my battery upstairs so I can monitor it and then I can tap into it from here and route things where they need to go. But I think we'll take the battery with us and we'll use this downstairs. So we'll have the battery can go ahead and sit here and it's going to get power from here. And then we'll we'll rearrange this with XNet when we get to that point. Um, OK. So in order to get XNet, we need controller, which means I'm actually going to need my battery back up top so that I can have power going again. Oops. Well, unintended. Good thing I can just... No, oh, can't teleport yet. Three second cooldown. Beam me up, Scotty, quickly. Okay, so now we'll have power coming back to here again. And then we need to get into XNet. So, uh... Slag is made by smelting gravels, and since uh, it is a byproduct of our stuff that we get here, it has ended up going into this chest and then getting smelted immediately into uh, into slag. So uh, we're getting we're getting rock wool. Easy as that. Now we can use time in a bottle on this. We have almost two hours stored up, so we can give it a little bit of a boost. And now it's going to go eight times faster than it was. Keeping in mind that we're going to be using. Technically, eight times as much power per operation. It's the same amount of power, but it's going faster, so it's going to use more power, if that makes sense at all. Um, now, I wonder, do I need to use blue, or can I use white? Um, at Xnet, if, I mean, because if I don't need to dye this, is there is there a white connector? There is not. <clears throat> so I do have to dye it some color. Okay. Okay, that's okay. All right, quest complete, rock wool. Are you going to give me something for it? No. Let's go down here to the automation and make sure that there is, if there's a quest for XNet that we, uh, yeah, look, XNet controller. Any cable, any connector. So we want to do this. That way we unlock that chapter so I can get this. We also have all of these things that we've gotten from Create. I should probably pick these things up too. Like all these powered latches. Uh, you, you. Analog lever. Yeah, all kinds of rewards that we should have unlocked. Bam. Okay. Anyway, uh, what were we doing? XNet controller. So we're going to need a controller and we're going to need cables. So the controller is going to be made with a redstone flux cell, which is going to require an electrum gear, which we should be able to do. I've made electrum in the past. Remember, it's just silver and iron for electrum. 
uh, in the induction smelter. So that should get that going. White stained glass. You don't need white stained glass. You just need any sort of glass panes. Can you please, please or dictionary correctly? Or do I not have any glass panes? Ah, that would explain it. Uh, so let's grab a stack of these and do this. And we'll get two sets of these. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, I, that, that sounds like a thunderstorm. I did not mean to hit request again. That doesn't sound like apotheosis going on outside. That sounds like a thunderstorm that's been too many, uh, too many thunders. Lead plates not found? Well, we can solve that problem here. Uh, let's get half a stack. And cook those up. So that's going to get take care of this. So that's going to get us our controller. I'll make the repeaters, um, which is going to require just any sort of stone. Twelve of these. And then, yeah, so I'll get this crafted up and I'm going to get these crafted up. Now, remember, the blue rock wool is just blue dye and rock wool and blue dye is made with lapis. So I'm going to get us a few of these. We're also going to need some regular X net connectors uh, or cables which is going to be this recipe, uh, which is re requires signalum and some more rock wool. That's a lot of rock wool. Uh, and signalum is silver, one silver, three copper, four redstone. Uh, silver. So let's get two silver. Eight copper. I think it was six copper. But it'll be eight redstone, right? If I want two sets of these. Give me that. And that'll all induction smelts. And yeah, I'll wait for all that to finish and we'll come back and we'll have all this stuff done. OK, so let's see. Uh, I ended up making four sets or three sets of connectors. So they gave me one, two, three, four, five. And then I should have one extra six. We have our controller going, and then um, I rearranged this out here to see if this is going to work for us. Um, because we don't need to necessarily have everything, you know, we're going to have XNet handle the movement of items. We don't need to have anything super special going on here. So these can just come here. We're just limited by the fact that this pipe routes this um, spruce right here. So I have all of the connectors on this side. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go ahead and set up our power channel and I hope that we're able to do this um, without having to have power going directly into the uh, controller. So we're going to insert here and get power. No, that's what I was afraid was going to happen is that we're not going to be able to actually pull power and insert until we actually get power into the controller. Um, now the question would be, can I cheese it? If I give it a little power, will it then be able to maintain? Like if I were to do this, rotate you, give you a little power. Now, if I break you, he's not full, but he's full. Aha, uh -huh. it is now working. So we cheesed that. We're able to get power. We just had to give it a little kickstart, essentially. Uh, we can go ahead and rotate that. I don't necessarily, this doesn't necessarily need to output that way. And it may even actually end up, should be fine. It'll just directly input its power into there. But yeah, there we go. Now we have power. Uh, so what do we want to do? Well, first off, we're going to name our, our plugs here, right? So this is where our wood is. This is our log drawer. So we're going to name that log drawer. And we're going to name this. This is going to be the charcoal drawer. And that way, when I come in here, I can see which one is which. So we're going to set an item extract channel. And we're going to go. So we're going to go to XNet item. And we're going to, from our log drawers, we are going to extract. And what are we going to do? We're going to insert into our redstone furnace. And so that should now be inserting. And since we did power, it's obviously, we're, we're getting power back into here, which means this is now running and it is producing charcoal. Okay. Uh, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted to see happen. So now we need to go ahead and say, okay, from our redstone furnace, we're going to create another item channel, not an energy channel. Let's delete that item channel. This one is going to extract from our furnace. 
And we're going to go ahead and grab a piece of coal just to make sure that that's the only thing that it can extract or 17 pieces of coal because I clicked the wrong button. Um, and we are going to put that in there. And this is the only thing that it's going to be allowed to extract from there. That way it doesn't try and extract any logs. And we're going to say you're going to insert that into this drawer, which means coal should now be going into this drawer or charcoal. And we can go ahead and put this in there uh, if I can access it. Bam. So now all of the coal charcoal is getting smelted and it's immediately moving into this drawer. Perfect. And then from there, lastly, we just need to say, OK, one more extract channel. And we're going to say from the log drawer or the charcoal drawer, we are going to extract and you're going to insert into the dynamo. And before I do that real quick, though, let's go make sure that this drawer is locked just in case this one, too. Nothing else should ever show up in there, but just in case, we'll keep it locked. Um, so you're going to extract, and then you are going to insert into there, which means our Sterling Dynamo should have kicked on, and it is now producing power, which means it is filling up our battery again. And this, we just now created an infinite power loop because we have our, um, outside we have our, what blocks do I have? We have our tree farm producing the logs, which are then getting moved into our furnace, which is then getting turned into charcoal, which is then being moved into our sterling dynamo and then putting power into our energy cell. And that's that infinite power, basically. Well, not even basically it is. It's, it's literally infinite power. So we can go back home and we can now set our stuff back up because we should now have enough universal cables to be able to run from here up to there. So now this is all going to run again and we're, we're, we're good to go here. Um, now we could shift all of this over. I could move the pipe pressurizer. It needs power anyway. So actually, yeah, let's go ahead and put the pipe pressurizer here and then we'll get a pipe out of my backpack and bam, doesn't look the greatest. We could facade this actually with a piece of cobbled deep slate. So that way it doesn't look as bad. Uh, and so we just need to rotate this to the pipe wrench, put this in our offhand and bam, it doesn't, the texture doesn't quite match hundred percent, but it works. So now we have this all powered up and we have our infinite power system uh, running downstairs. And as long as we're able to keep up with the spruce and our farm, we should be fine to keep up here. Ultimately what we would probably need is to get augments put into this machine to make it so that this can keep up with the charcoal production. Um, but yeah, that's basically where we're at. Let's go see inside of our, let's look at thermal. Do we have any augments? No, this is not, this is for um, like machines or like the, uh, the thermals battery and everything. Uh, so if we wanted to make these augments, it's, we have to get into pneumaticraft. So the only way to get them is to get lucky in a quest. So let's go ahead and turn in the quest, by the way, that we have completed encased fan mechanical belts funnels all kinds of stuff i like this we made shoots yep um sure we'll take that and we'll take those two and we'll take this whatever whatever you're gonna give me give it to me uh so we got a bunch of stuff we got drigme shards uh we can put the logs away we got an extra shoot we got some gunpowder some books some wixie shards some more food and yeah good stuff you can go in there and get processed. We got paper and it looks like honey bottles too. We'll go ahead and put the extent extras in here. You can go in there. You can go in there. You go here. Cleaning up inventory and then we'll wrap up today's episode. Uh, put my hoe away. I guess actually I probably should have just kept the hoe on me in my inventory. But yeah, that's it for today's episode. So if you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.